Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at my cockroaches and the new update. I'm just going to hit play on this. And all those little arrows that you saw are little cockroaches. I'm including an AI system into my uh, into all of my animals so that you can kind of drag and drop them into your scene without doing much um, to get them ready. Uh, but uh, before we go into that, that's a quick sneak peek into it. We'll jump into the animation map. And we have, uh, if we hit play here, we can see the cockroach and all the different animations for the cockroach dying, dead, uh, walking, turning, <coughs> and we can jump into the other folders here real quick. The animation folder we'll jump into in a minute and blueprints is where all of the new AI stuff that I added is. But we can look at materials. There's two different materials. One uh, is a 2K and one is a 1K. In case you want to use like a giant uh, cockroach. And then for the meshes we have just a simple physics for the cockroach. And of course a skeleton and you've seen the mesh. And the textures, we have uh, two sets of textures. One is a 2K, one is a 1K. Uh, base color, uh, normal, and a roughness. Roughness uh, uses the same uh, for both uh, 1K and 2K. Uh, let's jump into the animation here. Uh, the first thing we'll look at is the blend space. This is the blend space that comes with uh, the AI system. And if I grab this, you can see it goes from running to walking, idle, and then turning. Turning animations. And then we have an attack animation. Let's see if I can make this a bit larger. An attack animation. And then we have a dead animation. A death animation. And we have an eating animation. Idle. Idle 2. Idle 3. Idle 4. Then we have a running animation. A squished animation. Turning left. And then turning right. And a walking animation. Now we can jump into the AI system. The simple AI system that we have. We'll go to the map for it. There's a map. And we can hit play. And basically they will just wander around. And if they see something, whether it's another cockroach or you, they will run away. As you see them doing there. And you can kind of interact. That one just saw me and is running away now. Now, if they don't see anything, they'll kind of idle for a little bit. Maybe choose a new spot to walk to. And then idle there for a bit. And, of course, you can kill them. Just like that. By bumping into them. So that's a quick look at the simple AI. And you can just drag in the... Uh, blueprint cockroach blueprint and put it down and it'll work just like all the rest of them real simple drag and drop 
We'll take a quick look at some of the blueprints here. This is the animation blueprint. If you click on animation graph and then click on locomotion, we have all the different um, states for the cockroach. Movement, the idols, turning right and left, death, dead, and an attack animation. And it also includes all the different transitions, why it would switch from one movement to another. And you could use this animation blueprint to create your own uh, AI system with, without having to do it all yourself. And here is the basic AI that I put together. Um, it has some basic uh, deciding logic in the blueprint, and then a roaming logic where it roams to, when it runs away, where it goes to, um, reviving, and some regaining of the health. If they get hit, what happens when they do get damaged, and uh, detect is the sight, whether they see something or not and another um, avatar or the player. Um, and then we have a hit check for um, uh, damage, taking damage. And if we look at the very top, if we click on this very top option on the left, um, we have a bunch of things we could change with the cockroach how fast he walks. Some of these things you don't want to change unless you change the size. If you change the size, then these speeds will not be appropriate. So you'll want to change those. But if you change speed, you'll want to change the um, blend space also. But walk radius, run radius, m minimum and max, um, the health, how long they idle for, um, how long they stay dead, you can turn off the death or the health system by just checking that Boolean. Or you can turn off sight if you don't want them running away from you when you're trying to look at them. Um, then you can turn sight off also. And at the very bottom, you'll see AI perception. And here you can adjust how far they can see their sight radius. Uh, what else do we have in here? I think that's it for the blueprint. And then we have an uh, enum that goes along with the whole AI system and an AI file that um, doesn't do anything but direct um, what to use in the other uh, blueprints. But that's a quick look at uh, the cockroach in or my cockroach in Unreal Engine. Have a good one, everyone.